Hello again. Um, here on back end testing this Kaspersky New Security um, 2011, and uh, this time I want to show you um, this application control feature in Kaspersky New Security. Uh, it has already been implemented in the previous version, 2010, but it it has really some some nice features. Um, what this does is basically it's, it's trying to classify all application applications and restrict their behavior based on the security status. And uh, he's loading the rules for applications from the Kaspersky security network. And uh, so this means Kaspersky has a known database with known good applications. And if this application is there, uh, then Kaspersky will allow to run this program and then classify it into um, um, this um, uh, group trusted. Uh, what more it's doing, it's checking whether this program has a digital signature. And if it has a digital signature, then it's adding it automatically to uh, as a trusted application and allowing to run this program. Uh, I suppose that this digital, digital signature is quite uh, an expensive uh, feature because uh, I haven't seen any malware yet which had a digital signature. So um, I suppose having this activated is really, really safe. And uh, then if the program hasn't any digi the digital signature and uh, it's even not known by Kaspersky, security network, then he's trying to make some heuristic analysis of this program <coughs> to see how it behaves. And out of this is then classifying it into uh, trusted or uh, high restricted or low restricted or untrusted. Uh, but as you have seen in some of my, of my previous videos uh, when I was running Kaspersky in the sandbox or in the save run modus, uh, it can happen that some new viruses um, also new that, that they are not detected yet by Kaspersky. Um, but what you can do here basically you can say okay I don't want to have any heuristic analyze instead I want to assign uh, the following status automatically and then you use untrusted. So this means that if the program doesn't have your run the program you're running doesn't have a dictionary signature and it's even not known by Kaspersky uh, security network, then just block it, and it's, it's it's you're gone. So it's just you're safe. So um, I will show you this in in some examples. This has of course some downsides as well as I'm not so, but I will I will come back to this later. Um, so now I'm running the program and um, I will just run some malicious links here to see what's happening. Okay, this virus was known and blocked. Here we have a uh, file which is not known, a malicious virus. <coughs> it's downloading this file now. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just checking whether this is a virus against the internet. Uh, there is a web page called virustotal.com where you can check files um, <coughs> against 41 different antivirus companies and to see whether any one of them, uh, one of those 41 companies detects this file as a virus or not. And it is uh, known by 10 out of 41. Um, so it's probably a virus. So I will see when I'm running this file now what's happening. To start, I will uh, just make a scan of this file. see 
whether Cuspo is good detected. No, no threats detected. Okay, but as we have seen, ten other antivirus companies think that this this is a virus. So I'm okay now. I'm running this file, and uh, I'm opening at the same time this um, application control uh, window to see what's happening. So I'm running this file now. Run, yes. And see what's happening. It's blocked. Windows cannot access the specified device pads uh, file. Uh, you may not have the uh, appropriate permission to access them. Okay, why do we not have the permission to access this? Um, if I'm checking here now, here I have programs which I was running, and you see already here, exa dot exe this file was automatically classified as untrusted and blocked um, and uh, when I'm checking this file I see okay it's it doesn't have a signature and it's also unknown by this Kaspersky security network so for this reason um, the file was just blocked even that Kaspersky doesn't know this virus but because I was setting this application activity or application control um, as I did um, I'm really safe now so the virus is uh, not spreading on my computer um, here I have some other programs I'm running this, it's a CC cleaner, it's a program to clean temporary files this is automatically trusted um, you have seen now it was just added as trusted by Kaspersky and why is it been trusted? Yeah, because this has a digital signature and it is known by Kaspersky. So the good program could start on my computer. But of course this has also uh, in some cases it's it's too too strict, so it's plugging too much. Uh, I have downloaded here a program. Uh, I already installed it. Uh, it's it's a game. Uh, you can download it from uh, asylum.com. It's a, it's a web page where you can download f uh, games for free and test them. And then if you want, you can pay some money a month and, and play it, play the games. Uh, so it's it's not malware. It's really some normal computer games. Um, and uh, when I'm starting this file now, what's happening here is that it's it's blocked again. So why this? Yeah, probably because uh, this program doesn't have any uh, signature, and um, we will check this. it got automatically categorized as uh, untrusted <coughs> because the signature is missing but to go around this now you easily go into this application control you delete either you delete it or you just get okay change this and make it to trusted so now that this file is trusted assigned by user so when I'm now trying to start this game again the game is starting. So um, this is what I want to show you. Um, application control. Changing the setting to assign automatically untrusted and then it's really basically all malware are blocked. So that's it. See you later. Bye.